Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Ramiz and you are watching Flutter Frequency. So today we are going to talk about custom app bar. Okay. So in the previous video we have seen that how we can create an app bar. And in the in this video we are going to discuss how we can create the custom app bar and specifically how we can create this app bar. Okay. So let's delete this thing and let's delete the app bar as well. So first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, insert I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna go to my this panel and uh, in the column section I wanted to add a we can say we, we want to add a, a container okay so the first thing is we want to uh, disable the safe area okay so after then uh, we want to wrap this thing into a row okay so now I'm gonna stretch this container to take the whole width okay like this expand it and now you can see that it's now expanded and taking the whole width now what I want is that I want let's suppose I want a uh, maybe I want two, 250 pixels of height of this thing and then we want to add 20, uh, 20 pixels of padding from the bottom so let's say we want a height of 160 pixels not 160 is too much so 120 maybe yeah and then we want to add a padding bottom padding of 20 pixels not 20 but 40 pixels okay yeah that's now great and now what we want is that I'm gonna wrap a stack widget on it and now I'm gonna insert a container okay and this container should be uh, should comes from the bottom so I'm gonna say align this thing uh, to the child should be on bottom yeah like this and now I wanted to change the height of this container which should be 50 50 not a 50 maybe maybe we can say it's 60 yeah and we're gonna decrease the decrease this height so yeah it's taking the half of area now and uh, the main thing is that now we want to change the color fill color should be a uh, primary text obviously and uh, we want to add a padding from left and right side from 12 pix uh, 20 pixels from left 20 pixels from right and now we want uh, this to uh, take the whole space yeah like this and the background should be blue okay so let's see yeah what we can like use this color that's simple okay so yeah like this and I think we need to decrease a little bit of height because it's too much so now it's looking like better now it's better okay so now we have a container uh, now the next thing is we want a row in which we want an icon then we want a uh, text field then two more icons so let's do it insert uh, insert widget insert a row within a row uh, first of all I wanted to uh, add a padding from left and right side so I'm gonna add this thing and now insert icon first so the icon should be there and now I'm gonna change the color which is alternate color maybe and uh, this icon should be yeah it's blue so and Hamburgen icon then search and then notification Hamburgen search notification so we are gonna say menu and the color should be pink okay now I'm gonna duplicate control D control D and I'm gonna say it will take side by side okay and this icon should be notification and this icon should be search S -E -A -R -C -H. okay now I wanted to add a text field inside it text field okay and I'm gonna drag it move it here and now I wanted to remove the background fill color which is this and it should show search it should show search 
like this and yeah that's what exactly we want so user can simply click on it and search search it and we have two icons here and rest of the things would be like this now the only thing we want is to add a text insert widget click on insert widget text and now maybe we can align on the center and it should be showing home which would take bigger area maybe we can add letter spacing of one and we can say semi bold yeah okay that's fine so yeah here you can see that it's looking like the same that we have uh, maybe this the spacing from right and left yeah the spacing is also fine and uh, exactly the same now we can add more some more okay so now the app bar is basically created but you may maybe you uh, you thought that uh, okay we create an app bar but but how uh, how it's looking like an header because when we are scrolling up the when we are scrolling up the application so it will be uh, it will be moving towards the upside but what we want is that when we scroll upside so this app bar would remain uh, sticked on this place we don't want this app bar to be shifted towards the any other place okay or hide so how what can we do you can see that this is column and this is inside a column we have a stack widget okay and we have another column which is stack uh, which is inside our parent column and the parent column is not scrollable but the child scro column is scrollable but if I run this application so it will uh, throw a crash so how we can resolve this thing you must need to wrap a container in upon a column and container should take the remaining space or an, it you can add a expansion so it will take the whole remaining space and within the space your column would be scrolling easily okay so now let's run it and see how it comes up okay so here you can see that now our application is running and we can also scroll this thing and app bar is still not affected think uh, we can do uh, we don't have any issue uh, everything is working so that's how we can create our own app bar custom okay so let's uh, wrap up and uh, review the concept again uh, so let's re revise the thing so first of all you need to create a column if you want to do a uh, create a custom app bar so let's suppose you have created your custom app bar now what you need to do uh, you need to wrap your custom app bar in a column but that call the parent column must not be uh, scrollable here you can see if I drop down so it's not scrollable so it will not be scrollable but uh, your child inside your column you need to add another column uh, where you can add any other widget maybe your uh, list titles or maybe a uh, couple of different widgets okay so any 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 kind of widget you want you can add inside a column and that column should be scrollable but remember one thing if you not wrap the column uh, a container and container should uh, you, you must need to add a uh, expansion to the call container if you not do this thing so you will be able to see a crash and your scroll scrolling will not gonna work okay so so it's important to wrap container upon column okay so that kind of thing we can do so in the next video we are gonna discuss about uh, uh, navbar navbar and uh, after that we are going to discuss how we can create a nav navbar uh, and we can use it in our project thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video